I purchased a set of beautiful lamps from Home Goods, and one of the lampshades had a mark on it. So I did get a discount off of the lamp with the mark on the lampshade. So instead of buying new lampshades, I decided to decorate the ones that came with the lamps. I started out by spray painting my lampshades with the spray paint from Walmart. And this is what it looks like after the first coat. And as you can see, the spray paint is not going on evenly. And here's what it looks like back on the lamp. So as you can see, the spray paint was not working out. And as you can see, I have some overspray on the inside of the lampshade. And I'll address that later. Since I wasn't happy with the spray paint, I decided to use some acrylic paint instead. Now if you decide to duplicate this DIY, I would suggest using the acrylic paint instead of the spray paint. I'm going to brush on one layer of paint, let that dry, and then come back in with the second layer of paint. Alright, so the paint has completely dried, and I also painted the inside of my lampshade silver to cover up the overspray from the spray paint. Next, I'll hot glue the sequin material to my lampshade. It's a really beautiful dark teal color and I absolutely love it. I bought it online at Amazon and look at that it's almost a perfect fit for my lampshade. And it comes in several different colors. Now this is not a sponsored video. They actually sent me these swatches with my order. I'll provide a direct link to them in the description below the video. Now this step is really simple. I'll align the material with my lampshade and hot glue it on. And I'll keep checking the material to make sure that it's going on straight. I'm using high temp hot glue, but I suggest that you use low temp because I burn my fingers quite a few times. Um, while applying this material to the lampshade. Like I said, this step is really easy. Just apply the glue and then put the material on top of the glue. Repeat until the whole lampshade is covered. Now there's another option. You really don't have to use the sequin material. You can actually substitute it with glitter. And I actually have a DIY where I use glitter on the lampshade instead. And I'll be sure to leave a link to that DIY in the description below as well. Next, I cut away the excess fabric and then I glued it down as well.
here's the seam on the lampshade, and I actually could have did a better job if I had taken my time. So don't rush this part, just go ahead and take as much time as you need and make it straight. I'm not gonna worry too much about it, I'll just face it towards the wall. Next, I cut the material off the bottom piece of the lamp to even it out, and then I hot glued the material to the rim of the lampshade. Again, I suggest that you use low temp hot glue to avoid burning your fingers. Okay, so I'm done adding the material to my lampshade, and I'm absolutely happy with how it looks. The sequin material is absolutely gorgeous, but remember you can get a similar look using glitter, and I'll make sure that I'll leave a link to the DIY where I use glitter on the lampshade. Okay, so moving right along, I'm going to hot glue this feather board to the bottom part of the lampshade. Keep in mind if you don't like feather boards, you can trim it out with some bling or pretty much anything. The sky's the limit with this DIY. It's really a matter of preference, so decorate it however you please. To get started, I'll put some hot glue right where the feathers start on this rope. I'll come back later and cut the white piece of the rope off once it's glued on. I put a generous amount of hot glue on the left shade. And then I placed the boa on top of the glue and held it in place until the hot glue set up. And then I simply repeated those steps all the way around the lampshade. Now I'll cut the rope off and the excess piece of boa. Then I glue the very end of the feather board down to the lampshade as well. Now as you can see there's a few loose feathers. I'll finish up the lampshade and then take it outside and shake the rest of the loose feathers off. So I turned the lampshade around to see if I needed to add any additional glue. Now I'll complete my glam lampshade by gluing this boa to the very top of my lampshade. And just like that, I've turned an old, boring, white lampshade into something glam and beautiful. Now I'll go around and fluff out some of the feathers, and I might even need to trim a couple. And then I'll take it outside to shake all the excess feathers off. And here's what my gorgeous lampshade looks like back on the lamp. And I think the two together are absolutely stunning. Now you see that you can take a boring plain lampshade and make it into something beautiful. Okay creative family members, I hope you enjoyed this DIY and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. I'd like to take this time to apologize for my absence. My spirits have been down a little bit because of what's going on in the world and I'm sure many of you feel the same way. 
putting this DIY together for you guys really did make me feel better. And I would encourage you to get to crafting again if you've stopped or uh, find something else that you'd like to do and do that, you know, if you're feeling blue. Um, hopefully everything will be over sooner than we expect so that we can get back to our normal, regular lives. Okay, everyone, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.